When I come a little there, maybe reason for a couple seconds. Listen to the lyrics here. Intellectual murder people edition. Cock and fire full of gun like Revington. Fully charged up. Eager for kill a man. You never know. See a little juvenile that run in your yard and take your three pints. Where you think them attack? No, when I play the music in I bus, I keep it them go to school. When you think I go happen, they go activate their mind and them soul and them brain and put them in a bad mood for go kill. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. I remember when me a girl come up, me used to love watch cartridge, you know. As soon as me done, me want to kick down some people. Eh? No banana tree could left standing, me kick it down flat. Cause it put me in a mood. So we, you know, as big people have to instill the way I live in, in I think in them brain, isn't it? But they know the good way, man. You know? Today my daughter birthday, you know. And me feel good for knows my daughter living, you know, to see another birthday. But me feel bad for no say. Another child up on the ground, lay down, can't move because of foolishness. Yeah, man. Me hear the song them are playing. Me hear some big people are playing the song them around the pit in them. Man. Yeah, man. Me hear it, man. Me hear it by radio too. Them bleep it out, but them pit them know them. So they know now, though. You see me? Pit them in a trouble, you know. I want to put them in a trouble, you know. Mm. Me know they're not going to listen to my song them, because my song them are talking about life. Me. Represent life. I mean, I represent dead and kill and fly my and push knife down neck and gunshot and zip. No, sir. That's enough for me thing. I don't know how to play around the people. Some them have a lot to do with it. As soon as they come off of the bus or the car gone in high school, them still in another killing mode because the music give them the mode. You see me? You never come off of one vehicle and the music are playing a vehicle. And by the time you all reach, all when I reach home, you still has, you still has sing that song there. You never, you never happen to, no? You must stay there. Me gone. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps, I don't know, we have to stay thankful, we have to stay prayerful, we have to continuously give thanks to the preservation of life. So the ones and ones them traversing the church now the morning, now please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers, because you definitely know say, we need that now more than ever. Some parishes still experiencing some rain, the low line areas. So, no go on, stay in, stay safe, stay dry. And even whilst you're inside your house, the place where you consider to be the safest, still look out on a corner, yeah. Any little noise on the air, any little bush on the air, and make no little noise. People would see where I go on because you don't know the old dirty corner boy, them fully active and always out there. Alerts, <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So in the morning, I'm a peeps, we're going to kick it off with a series of knockings and clappings that took place over there in our western parishes. We're talking about Westmoreland, Hanover and also the parish of St. James. So the first incident took place over there in White House, Westmoreland, where a man ended up losing him three pints in what I would consider to be a dramatic incident. It took place along the White House main road, vicinity, big tree, in White House, Westmoreland. So the incident reportedly occurred about 9.30 p.m. that night. The man will lose him three pints has since been identified as a 34-year-old farmer known as Ricardo Jemison, otherwise called Puncher from Lennox, Bagwoods in Darlistan, Westmoreland. According to reports obtained by On The Spot News Media, Jemison was among patrons at a dice bar along the White House main road when two men armed with handguns approached and opened fire at him. It is said that in a bid to save his life and escape injuries, Jemison ran from the bar and was chased by the said criminal elements in the area and continued fired at him, hitting him all over. 
he subsequently collapsed at a short distance along the roadway. It is also reported that an off-duty police officer who was present and saw what was happening discharged several rounds from his licensed Glock pistol in the direction of the criminal elements in a bid to repel the attack against Jemison. However, the gunmen escaped in the area on foot. The police was alerted and upon their arrival, Jemison was seen laying in the middle of the road with what appears to be multiple can up can up wounds all bout over his upper body and head. May I tell you say, the whole of the man head tap leak out drop a gun right there. So. He was however transported to the Savannah Mar Hospital where he was pronounced you know what. May I tell you say, the man them deal with the scene grimy in my view still and from information received, it seems as if that was definitely a paid hit on Jemison's head. Anyway, my peeps, make we continue. So over there in the parish of Hanover, boy, may I tell you, a cook shop operator end up lose theme three points. Really sad, sad situation. Because this man is a well-known cook shop operator. Always there, always a prepare meals for his customers. So the cook shop operator end up losing three pints in a place where them call Great River, Hanover, Saturday morning. The incident happened about 6 o'clock. So you know, say, a well early in the morning. It is reported that the operator known as spider this man here presently on your screen right now was in the process of preparing meals for customers when he was attacked however he succumbed to injuries because the man them go there and say yo spider why really are going over here so all the breakfast not ready yet and as the man turn around a straight shillings here yeah, man may i tell you the man them just deal with spider a certain type of way and just step out of the shop and walk gingerly like nobody's business the man them just easy breeze yeah man i saw the man them deal with the crime scene so over there in the parish of St. James, our second capital of Montego Bay, you have a little spot where them call Narwood St. James, man, may I tell you. Dangerous little ends, right? They say you don't know the birthplace that for the so-called dunts, the dunts thugs. Whole heap of gangster come from in Narwood because you talk about Hendon, we are talk about Paradise, we are talk about Hooga Lane, we are talking about golf. You name it. Trust me. Now and our easy place none at all. So for those who has been watching on the Spot News Media for a minute would have noticed on the Spot News Media they literally pitch a tent up there and decide say yo the badness we are going on now would well the madness we are going on now would have to stop. And on the Spot News Media never stop until the government put the Zozo up there and it kind of Calm it down somewhat, but since these past few months, one and two little knockings and clappings are going up the same way. And this brother on your screen, right, I know, was the recipient of a whole heap of tab tab up wounds and some can up can up wounds too on the 16th of September. Anyway, him drop out yesterday. So you don't know, say, a portion of things are going to go on because this brother is labeled, quote unquote, the Dan for bottom pen. But of course, we all know that I know him had a done for bottom pen. He's just a top knackis and clappis where he have some street credibility so the man them give him like a prop, so to speak. So this brother here end up losing three pints. The man them tab tab him up at the shop. The man them run him down and can him up. Them scoop him up. Can him go to hospital, string him up on some life support. But I guess the life support never sustain life. And him in a pass off yesterday. So the next time when I see that brother here put on the spot news media, I'm gonna give you the full story as it relates to this brother here. Yeah, man, may I tell you a serious business going where this youth here concerned. And a negative backlash definitely I go reach in other section there of Nowood. So members of John Public, all who are involved, preparing a selfie. Yeah man. So anyway, my peeps, make we continue. So over there in the St. Catherine South Police Division, where we all know Seboya, a whole heap of things are going over the St. Catherine South from what they are. But yesterday, one of the strangest things happened to a patrol team whilst they were traversing along the Mandela Highway. They were approached and stopped 
by a resident of a community along Mandela Highway. So when the police then pull over now and say, yo, what go on? What not deal with? The resident stepped to the police officer's side window right there, so and say, officer, wind down the window, they make a talk. So the officer complied, carried down the window, full flight. So when the officer carried down the window, the resident stated, officer, this may have to go, you know. To the officer's surprise, it was this weapon on your screen. A Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol with a magazine containing five live 9mm rounds of ammunition. The weapon was subsequently taken by the officers and of course handed over to the 100-man police for safekeeping. No arrest was made because the gun amnesty, my peeps, is in full effect. So Mr. Prime Minister and Mr. Minister of National Security, I guess this is the first weapon to be handed over to the police under the gun amnesty. So I guess it worked somewhat. If I even won, then get off high street. That is definitely commendable. So whomever that resident is, a definite round of applause to you for your bravery to come forth with this weapon and handing it over to the police. Yeah, man. So the St. Catherine South Police also arrested and charged a man in relation to the seizure of a Glock magazine containing 28 rounds of ammunition. So you know, so from his Glock mag and it contained 28 is one of those extended magazine. The 32 clip if they put on the plus 2 on it, but the 30 clip if the plus 2 is not on it. So all of this took place over there in the community of Waterford St. Catherine yesterday. So reports from the police is that about 4 a.m. yesterday morning, lawmen were in the area when a premises that was occupied by the suspect was searched. During the search, the ammunition and magazine was found under a bed in his room. The ammunition was subsequently seized and he was taken into custody. However, his identity is being withheld pending further investigations. Of course, the squad of them want the matic with the magazine for fitting her. Yeah, man, may I tell you so. I'm pretty sure the squad of them now go stop until same is retrieved. So my peeps, make we continue. Still in the St. Catherine South Police Division. Where the police are presently investigating a suspected case of where a man take for him own three pints. So the body of a man identified only as Omar was found yesterday afternoon hanging from a belt at a section of an abandoned premises along the Fort Augusta Drive. Residents stated that he was living at the location for some time and claimed that he had a history of mental illness. So another really sad situation, right there, so. I guess that the elements them in him head, where I speak to him, get the better of him, and him decides, say, to take him life. So condolences again to the bereaved families of this man that is said to have been suffering from mental illness for a period of time. But anyway, my peeps, make we continue. So over there in the troubled crime riddle, the Kingston Western Police Division, a section of the Kingston Western Police Division known as Craigtown, where violence has erupted over that section for quite some time now. Now we have two rival factions over there fighting for power. One section where a reputed gang leader known as Rick Dick, who resides by the way in the United States of America, fighting for control over the Crickton space. His rival, a man known as Bigger, and his son known as Guess. The latest spate of violence also claimed the life of the son of the reputed gang leader known as Rick Dick. So my peeps, the thing serious over that side. A whole heap of man get spread out and last night was definitely no different. As this man on your screen is the latest casualty of war. A man known as Shaba in the streets. So far on the spot news media get to understand that he was an innocent bystander. And the whole place feel a way about his passing. Labeling him as a casualty of war so to speak. Never involved. 
but on the spot news media will definitely be making checks in the streets to find out the truth surrounding the clappings of Shaba. Yeah man, may I tell you. So the war continues. So as always, residents from Craigtown and neighboring communities seek refuge elsewhere if you can. And if your circumstances deem that you have to stay within that space, please take care of yourself. Look out on a corner eye and be careful whilst traversing the streets. Because this warrior is definitely far from over. The police then did put a little curfew thing in the place, but that is definitely not enough. The Crickton space needs to be shaken up real hard. And they need also to work with their United States counterparts to get a hold of the main players that resides there. Some peeps, they think the normal, not just local, but also international. The war continues. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.